Hi everybody and welcome to webinar number 28 of Diamond Club Australia. It's been another great week in June that you guys have been able to reflect and, and look back on Diamond Club. We're just going to be going over quite a few different things about reflection and goals today as well um, and going over the information from last week, a little repetitive information so that you guys can keep that information fresh and going as you move forward after Diamond Club. So here's the agenda for today. We'll be going over a few reminders about uh, reimbursements, leadership retreat, well, and then I'll go over the rank advancements from May. And I'm going to talk about working with your leaders, and then we'll go through some goals and reflection to finish out the webinar. So look forward to that. So reimbursements, just a reminder, those should be paid out on the 15th um, U.S. time. Um, those will be paid out then, and you should see them either on your 16th or 17th or 18th. You'll see them. Some banks take a little bit longer, but it will be paid out within those days. Okay. And just another reminder about leadership retreat. retreat. If you haven't um, bought your tickets, from what I understand, the they're no longer available, but you are welcome to try and work with our marketing team to uh, see what you can do if you haven't bought those already. Hopefully you already have and you have that information and everything booked to enjoy a great leadership retreat this year. All right, let's go over rank advancement. So congratulations to all those that rank advanced in May. We had a lot of rank advancements which was amazing. You guys worked really hard and worked with your leaders and your teams to be able to um, reach those goals and those ranks that you've been able to do. So don't stop now. Keep the momentum going and try and solidify that this month or continue to move forward and rank advance this month as well to that next rank goal that you have. So the diamonds that we, our new diamonds are Lynn and Peter Guerin, Renee and Byron Twilley, Kisane Appleby, Michelle and Godfrey Tyndall, John Croft, Kira Fisher, and Tanya Zeta. Congratulations, guys. You guys are amazing for working with your teams and for reaching those goals that you've set out during the month of May. Great job, guys. Uh, those that have asterisks, asterisks next to their names actually went from gold to diamond, so they went through platinum and diamond all in May. So it was quite a great leap for them and volume increase in their team to be able to reach Diamond in May. So it was a really, really good organization and working with their legs and their leaders to be able to do that. So great job, everybody. And we have our Platinums as well. We have Helen Duke, Shannon Morgan, and Aaron Blott. Great job, guys. You're amazing. Keep up the great work, and let's see you hit Diamond this month or in the near future. Keep... Keep working towards those goals so that you can uh, get to Diamond soon. It's really exciting to see all these rank advancements. I'm super excited. I was really quite amazed, to be honest with you. But you guys are amazing, and you guys can do amazing things, and you have done those amazing things. So keep moving and keep reaching those new heights and rank advancements. So let's go ahead and recognize our golds and silvers from May. We have Colleen Scott, Teresa Brown, Carmen Guerin, and Carolyn Wiseman. Great job. Keep moving forward. Let's see you guys hit platinum. And we have our silvers from May. We have Faye Fairbain, Regina Scholes, Geraldine Luke, and Tracy Lofberg. I like to see everyone rank advance. It's really amazing to see what you guys can do. Um, a lot of uh, participants that weren't able to even complete Diamond Club, but that are still working with their teams and able to reach new ranks and to move forward. You guys are still learning from what you've done in Diamond Club and how to work with your, your team and your leaders to get that volume and uh, solidify legs and things like that. So it's really amazing to see what you guys can do. So let's go into working with your leaders. Now that Diamond Club's over, it's really important to hold business trainings and have your leaders hold business trainings as well in order to um, let everyone know about the business opportunity that doTERRA brings. A lot of your meetings or events have been more focused on the essential oils and 
the healing aspect of it or the cooking aspect and health aspect of the oils, which is amazing and that should be incorporated in, in your trainings. Um, but it is also important to let everyone know about the business opportunities that doTERRA brings so that they can be independent and financially uh, free of of everything. So it's very important to do that. So have frequent contact and conversation with your leaders to hold these trainings. Make sure that those leaders that you want to hold these trainings are comfortable holding the trainings. Just like in Diamond Club, when you go to an area and you want to help create those leaders and help build that area, maybe you have to do the first couple of trainings or events and then they get the hang of it and they're more comfortable uh, taking part in those trainings or doing half of it or even uh, the full training eventually. That's that's kind of how things work. So we take those baby steps in growing and learning and getting more comfortable with uh, participating and sharing with everyone the knowledge that we have of doTERRA, the business, and the oils. So make sure leaders are doing the follow-up and helping you to um, retain all the enrollees and um, people that you were able to help enroll and start on the Little Two Wars program. So you need to do your own follow-up with your leaders and help them to follow up with everyone that got signed up in those meetings. It's good to ha hold new meetings in those areas and get those people to come back and teach them more about the business and more about the Little Two Rewards program um, to benefit from the essential oils and the business opportunity. So follow up with your past events and follow up with those new and current events as well. So follow up always needs to be happening as well as the new events to keep all the past volume and leaders going as well as creating a new volume with your enrollments and creating new leaders as you uh, share the business and oils with everyone. So keep keep in mind that follow-up is very important now that Diamond Club is over. Goals are also very important important now that Diamond Club is is finished we need to move forward and set new goals set a goal to either maintain or increase your rank as I was talking just a minute ago with the announcement of those rank advancements it's amazing what you guys have done now you need to reflect and set new goals new higher goals to solidify your rank maintain it and also set goals of how you're going to be increasing it over the next couple of months as well so you guys have had a lot of momentum coming out of Diamond Club so keep it going and push with your teams um, obviously it's not going to be I want to say as crazy or as profound the volume or momentum that you're going to be able to move with in the future because Diamond Club is so concentrated with all that volume and all those events and everything but you can keep moving forward with those uh, goals so set personal rank goals short term and long term what are you going to do next month what are you going to do um, over the next three months what are you going to do over the next six months what are you going to do over the next year rank wise and volume wise set those goals and put those action plan steps in place so that you can slowly reach those goals in your own time. Work with your leaders and let them know your goals and ask them about their goals so that you guys can work on them together. That's how you can be more productive and reach those goals quicker when you're working together and helping each other reach those goals. Um, what can you accomplish with that, you know? It's amazing what you guys have already done. Let's see what you can do now in the future that you have all this knowledge and you have um, these great legs to build on. You have this great volume that has come into your teams. Move with it forward. Um, it's very important to stress the Little Two Awards program and uh, those monthly orders in order to keep that volume coming throughout the rest of the year as well and in the future. I'll let them know the importance and help them understand using those oils. We heard a lot of good information over the last few weeks from other leaders that have shared the importance of what to do after Diamond Club now that it's over. So let's go into uh, some reflection on the past four months of Diamond Club. So I want you guys to take 10 minutes, write all these questions down 
Um, obviously, you'll be able to look at the webinar once it's posted and everything to pause it and write them down later, which you might want to do. I'm just going to run through the questions and give my commentary as that goes forward. So you guys need to make sure to write, write things down um, that you've noticed over the past four months. Uh, what did you accomplish? What ranks did you achieve? How many enrollments did you have month by month or in total with Diamond Club? How did your team grow? How did you create those leaders? Um, what amazing experiences did you have? How did you grow as a leader? And what did you learn about yourself? What traits and attributes did you learn and improve? It's not only a team building and business building experience. It's um, you build yourself as a person as well with the traits and attributes that you're able to develop and learn through Diamond Club and working with all your team members. So it's important to reflect on these, write them down, and and set goals um, for your personal growth as well. So some more reflection here. What did you do well during Diamond Club? There's a lot of what rank advancements you did good at enrolling people. You did well with helping people understand the loyalty rewards program and get set up on that. You helped people understand the, the healing properties of the oils. Whatever it, it was, write those down and make sure you continue doing those good things. And now you can also reflect, how could you have done better? What are those those things that you've noticed that um, weren't working out quite as well as you thought you were. Now you can set goals to improve those as well, little by little over the next couple of months. Um, that's one thing that I've loved about Diamond Club. Everyone's learned a lot about themselves. Now it's time to take what you've learned about you and your business and your team and move forward with setting those goals and reaching them and, and changing yourself and your team and your business uh, to be more amazing, to be more productive and, and just better all around. You guys have done amazing things and you can keep doing those amazing things. So keep moving forward. And how are you going to learn from any mistakes that you may have made during Diamond Club? We all make mistakes. It happens. It's how we learn and grow. What can we learn from Diamond Club? What were your goals to start Diamond Club? Did you accomplish those goals? Why or why not? The, those are very important questions, the why and why not. Um, it's good to, to see who was there to help you with those goals because a lot of the time it's not just you doing those things. It's one, your leaders, it's your family, it's your loved ones, um, everyone around you supporting you they were able to help you as well. Reflect on these things and see what you can do to use those in the future as well to reach your goals, your future goals, or what can you change um, with those whys or why nots in order to move forward and create success and fix those mistakes. It's very important to, to reflect and, and to change those things. So what are you doing what are you going to do to add to your Diamond Club experience? Now that Diamond Club's over, you can still add to it. So don't don't let yourself slide. Keep this momentum from Diamond Club going. Um, you'll be able to see all the momentum and volume and experiences um, applied to your life in the future in these next coming weeks, days, months. Uh, you're going to learn a lot more at a leadership retreat if you're able to participate and go to that. There's going to be a lot more information shared there that's going to um, apply to what you've learned through Diamond Club and help you move forward now. Uh, here's a couple of more things to reflect on. Diamond Club is part of your journey. It is not the whole journey. Uh, don't stop now. You've learned so much and you've done so much through Diamond Club. It's only a small part of the journey. It's a very short time where a lot of concentrated things happen of enrollments like I talked about earlier with your team and building leaders and building yourself. Take those and create a wider path in your journey to, to be able to connect with more people and to build your business. Use Diamond Club to propel your business forward. Promote Diamond Club now with your teams to get them excited about it for next year. You've been able to create amazing things and, and a business and 
volume and touch so many people's lives. Share these great experiences and great opportunities with your team and your leaders and help them to start preparing now to qualify um, around the end of the year in December, November and December, in order to participate next year in Diamond Club so that you can now sponsor and help them participate in Diamond Club and help them grow their legs, which obviously in turn is going to help you propel your business as well. Um, I've noticed so many leaders commenting that Diamond Club has changed them and their teams, not from them participating, but from their leaders and their uh, legs, their qualified legs, participating in Diamond Club. It's an amazing experience for everybody. So it's very important to know that it doesn't just affect you, it affects so many people, the positive growth that happens during Diamond Club. So it's a lot of reflection. I'm going to go ahead and post a lot of this information and go over it. I'll go ahead and post the webinar um, in the next couple of hours on the Diamond Club uh, Facebook group, and I'll be sending out the email hopefully later today as well. So I'll, I should be sending out more information with the notes from past webinars to help you guys move forward now that Diamond Club's over. You guys are amazing. Keep moving forward. Take the rest and reflect um, that on all these things and see what you can do now to move forward and with this momentum and with this knowledge, work with your leaders, work with your uplines as well, and still build that knowledge and build those relationships and communicate your goals with each other. It's been a, a great webinar, and we'll see you guys next week as well. We're going to have a webinar at the beginning of next week before Leadership Retreat, so please tune in there as well. You guys have a great week. Bye-bye. Uh, sorry, everybody, we will be announcing the the standings in the next couple of days as well as they are finalized. Um, just to let everybody know. So stay tuned. I'll be posting that and sending those out in emails uh, as well. So in the next couple of days, we'll be giving out the final standings on everything. So have a great week. Bye-bye.